Hi there, welcome to the final instalment of a short series of reflections on the life of the Reverend Charles Whitfield. Whitfield was perhaps the most significant figure in the history of our Northern Baptist Association. He died 200 years ago this year. Whitfield first became convinced of the Baptist way of faith uh, through the influence of church in Newcastle upon Tyne that met in Tuthill Says, the oldest Baptist church in our association. And I'm here today in Westgate Baptist Church in their building, uh, which is the successor to the Newcastle church that Whitfield would have known that at the time met near the quayside in a meeting place on Tuthill Stairs. Westgate, as you look around the building, has many reminders that uh, this church has played an influential role in raising up leaders like Whitfield over the centuries, of planting new churches, of sending out people, of influencing mission uh, beyond the city of Newcastle. And so it's to this wider perspective, this relating together, that I want to draw our attention to today. One of the things that Whitfield was very keen to do was not simply be a minister in his own uh, community in Hampstead, but he had a heart for all the Baptist churches of the North East. He had a heart to relate and to develop the relationships between the Baptist churches of the North East. He saw that we're better, stronger and uh, more well-resourced when we're together, when we share life together, when we learn from each other, when we pray for one another, where we relate well together and, and, and get to know one another. We're not meant to live in isolation and, and, and independent, but we're always called to interdependence, to relate with one another. And that's not just, of course, the Baptist family, it also extends to other church traditions as well. But Whitfield came into his ministry in Hampstead at a time when the Northern Baptist Association, which had existed for about a century, uh, had basically fallen into an abeyance. Churches were uh, not doing anything together. They were simply following their own patterns. And Whitfield had to make two attempts during his lifetime to re-establish the Northern Baptist Association, to get it functioning as a gathering, a meeting place, as a uh, sharing together of life across Baptist churches. And yet he was able to do that. He tirelessly worked to persuade other churches to meet together with his own church at Hampstead, for leadership teams to meet together, for for leaders to come together, for churches to send out messengers, representatives, who would meet together and share their common joys and sorrows to support each other in the work that they were doing. Often in these days, the way that's devolved down to is we have an expectation of association staff, such as myself, to do that role for us if we have a crisis or a problem. But actually in our Baptist history and heritage, we were always meant to share together, to build relationships together. So that if one church is going through a hard time, it isn't the association minister who sorts the problem out, but actually we draw on the resources of all of the wider Baptist family, whatever is appropriate. And we give to the wider Baptist family, whatever we can. We're better together than we are apart. And in these days, as we transition, as we seek to go uh, into into new places, as we seek to become more effective uh, and flexible and and adaptable and open to God's spirit and be used well in this 21st century, it's important that relationship comes to the fore again, that we make the effort where we can to get to know one another, that ministers get to know one another, that leadership teams get to know one another, that congregations get to know one another, that we don't just look inwards, but we also extend that fellowship outwards as well. 
It's always been an aspect of Baptist life. And my prayer is that it will be renewed in our day, particularly as Haley joins us. And Haley will spend a lot of time listening to see what's going on, but then spearheading a review where we look at how we move forward together. But it's that listening together, listening to what's really going on, listening to how it is. And let's be honest, it may not be very easy for many of us at the moment. We need to hear how we are. We need to hear the impact of the last 16, 17 months of pandemic and the weariness and the fatigue and the stress that it has generated within us. And we need to support each other through this time and say it's actually okay to be before we move into any fresh activity. It's okay just to gather and to be and to find out where we're at and to simply be in the presence of God together before we move onwards into lots of frenetic activity and try to re-establish things the way they were. But we don't just do that on our own as churches. We do this together. We learn together. We share together. There's so much good practice within our Baptist family that we can benefit from. There's so much that we can encourage others in because of our experiences. When we seek God, do we just seek God for our own church or do we seek for God to speak and work throughout the Christian church and particularly our Baptist family. When we think of ministry and mission, do we just do it within our own community or do we think about how we can support and encourage more widely within our Baptist family? There are lots of opportunities, but so often it is a lack of workers to go into the harvest field. Is your church one that can actually release workers into the harvest field? Will you pray together with us? for workers for the harvest field. Let's grow relationship together. That's what Whitfield sought to do and that's what he would be encouraging us to do were he around in 2021. Let's pray together. As I'm recording this piece in the background, I can hear the sounds of young people having a great time in the church hall. As a partner organisation, Youth for Christ are running a youth event today. God, you call us into partnership. You call us to resource one another, to share resource and to receive resource. You call us to give and to receive. You call us to be open to listen to what others have to say to us and also to speak into their situations as well. Lord, will you help us have the vision to see wider and bigger, not just our own church, not just our own community, but our wider church family, our wider Baptist family. Will you give us vision to care for what happens in other parts of the northeast of England? Will you give us a heart for our wider Baptist association of every church in all the places where you planted us and the places where you where you would want to plant new expressions of Baptist witness. Will you widen our horizons, widen our heart, widen our vision, and deepen our relationships? And Lord, help us not just to wait till others take the initiative, but to be willing to go and be the leaders in re-establishing relationships, of deepening relationships, of growing relationships where needed. For the sake of your kingdom and the glory of your name, Amen.